And a Fox 5 follow up as tourists roll into town on the weekend. We've told you how Metro Police have been cracking down on parties and violence at short term rentals on our Behind the Badge segment right here on Fox 5. Before the Super Bowl, police urged people to call 911 if there's violence and 311 if there's noise. Well, we found out plenty of you listened. Metro Police got a staggering number of phone calls, more than 4,800. Sometimes the music gets loud. Yeah, parties. When tourists come to town, sometimes they like to party or get rowdy. During the week of the Super Bowl, Metro Police urged people to report violence and noisy parties at short-term rentals. Many listings are illegal and unlicensed. Please let us know what's going on in your uh, community so that way we're able to respond to these particular parties. It's the violence that comes with it. They get out of hand, uh, they start charging for at the door. After our Behind the Badge segment aired, how many of you reported a problem short-term rental in your neighborhood leading up to Super Bowl Sunday a total of 4,867 calls to 911 for incidents of violence or safety, 311 for noise complaints, or they flagged down an officer for help. Metro could not tell us how many of these thousands of calls led to arrests. They did lead to county code violations. From February 7th to 10th, Clark County's code officers inspected 293 properties. They issued 24 citations. The first violation is $500, a second or more is a thousand. Last year, Metro Police paid visits to homes during spring break. Will the same happen this year? A spokesperson says Metro proactively contacts several short-term rental locations where we have encountered problems in the past. Officers remind occupants of noise ordinance, which short-term renters may not be aware of and be mindful of their neighbors. The Greater Las Vegas Short-Term Renters Association, representing homeowners, has criticized some of Metro's visits, saying public safety resources are better utilized elsewhere. It's also criticized Clark County's licensing process. No licenses have been issued. Now, Clark County says it is still reviewing more than 800 license applications. Now, the Short Term Rental Association says some families are choosing to illegally operate to make money and pay the bills.